hacker, nerd, geek. I'm labeled with so many things, you can call me a post-it note. My name is Chris, and I live in California, in the middle of nowhere. I am currently 22 years old, and my favorite class is technology, or really anything having to do with numbers. So, you should know, I love using binary to stump my friend Alyssa. It's just really funny to see her try and figure it out. It's around 1.30 in the morning, and I'm watching scary videos on YouTube. I came upon a channel called To The Ark, um, weird name, but I clicked on a video called Extraction, and there was a figure with a white mask on that had black lips, black eyebrows, and black eye sockets. I was so scared, and the message in the video made no sense. So I scrolled to the similar videos, and there was one with the channel name Marble Hornets. I clicked on the video, and it was called Entry 18, I think. The same figure was there with a, a buddy? This made no sense. I had to go to bed. I was so tired, it wasn't even funny. I felt the presence of something. I just don't know what. When I woke up the next morning, there were drawings all over the wall, and a doll that looked similar to a very tall, pale as snow man. I was a little scared, and then I also found a tape that was meant to be watched, as it stated on the back saying, Watch me. So I went to the store, and bought a tape recorder and hooked it up to my television. The tape was a video of Alyssa, exploring what looked like the woods around my house. She turned the camera to herself, and said into the camera, Oh my gosh! I'm so freaking scared right now, it's the mess! The camera glitched, so I couldn't hear what she said. She continued with a visual interruption. <laughs> He's coming after me, they're following me. I interrupted again. I heard her stop walking, and her eyes widened. Found you. The camera was dropped, and Alyssa was screaming, Get away! Get away! No! Help! She was cut off by a sharp cracking. A good 15 minutes passed, and I was surprised the tape lasted that long. Suddenly, there was a high-pitched screeching sound, and I covered my ears in agony. It was the camera glitching again. Man, this camera is horrible, I thought. I saw that the camera has been picked up, and was turned to Alyssa. Her neck snapped and blood seeping from it. Then, it snapped to the same masked figure I saw in the video last night. It, it looked as if it had a seizure, and then the door to my house busted open, or so it seemed. My heart was beating a mile a second, and I grabbed the magnum I had under my desk in a duct tape pocket, and I yelled, Who's there? In a loud voice, the light shut off, creeping me out slightly. I felt hands grab me from behind, and I shot him in the foot that was not my own. I heard a scream, and I hit the guy with the butt of the magnum, and he recoiled, but then tackled me. I got punched in the face, and I yelled as the man grabbed the gun out of my hand, throwing it across the room. He put his hands to my throat, pushing on my windpipe. I gasped for air, and slapped his wrists. I passed out. Last thing I saw was him taking off his jacket, and kicking me in the gut. <laughs> This character matches up with this letter, Chris said, pointing and looked up to the masked figure. He nodded and patted her on the back. He turned and looked at the time. He sighed and looked back at her, jerking his head toward the door. Chris nodded and quickly put on a brownish hoodie and put the black cloth over her face. It was designed with two red spots for eyes and a red line for a frown. Oh yeah, sorry for your foot, Tim, Chris said sniggering, and turned to the door. The masked figure, Tim, blushed behind his mask and turned her to him, putting his forehead to hers. Then she giggled and walked out the door. Tim was smiling. 
Hey, operator, try not to eat her, okay? <laughs> there was a faint laughter in the distance, and he shut the door, following Chris. Quiet as a mouse that was sleeping. <laughs>